Good evening, Americans and humans. This is your favorite alien. On the evening of Thursday, October 20th, 2022. And today, a short commentary on the disaster that's going on across the pond, otherwise known as the United Kingdom. Uh, I don't know why they call it the United Kingdom. It's never been a United Kingdom. But, uh, and this is not no disrespect to the British, the Scottish, or the Walish, or the Northern Irelanders, or the British Commonwealth. Uh, yeah, no. But uh, the problem they're having is because of the 1688 glorious revolution when they deposed James II, and they put this crazy thing on there where Parliament was it, and I mean the House of Commons was it. You read all that documentation from 1689, and one of the things on the 1688 Glorious Revolution they decided to put in there was, we don't want any more Catholic rulers. Uh, yeah. Every ruler's got to be Protestant. Uh, yeah. Oh, and by the way, we hereby say that sovereignty is the property of the Parliament, which means that the king or queen, is just a figurehead, okay? That's what you don't understand, sovereignty. You know the word sovereign, meaning ruler? Up until that time, the king and queen had some say in what they did. Today, they're just figureheads opening up this parliament or closing parliament, uh, and parliament rules the country, unlike the United States, which supposedly has three branches to checks and balance, and they don't check each other worth a lick, do they, here in the United States? Well, the British today have a serious problem because their prime minister has quit. Their king hasn't been formally coronated by the parliament. <laughs> They're not doing that till May. Supposedly, I don't know what day in May they picked, but eh, you know, Charles the Third, and then they gotta realize, oh, what are we gonna do with Camilla? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. See what I mean? But unlike, well, like one of the British commentators said yesterday on the BBC News that I saw here, uh, unlike the United States, which has elections every two years, and boy, does that make this country bad, don't it? Oh. Aren't you guys tired of all these politics and commercials and everything? And, oh, well, you got to vote for me, you got to vote for that. And as soon as one ends, the other one starts. Well, yeah, you know, like they got a midterm election coming up in about two weeks or so here in the U.S. Well, the British don't have that. And the conservatives, uh, mm -hmm, otherwise known as the Tories, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, had the upper hand a couple years ago. They don't anymore because they blew their hand. And now they don't have a leg to stand on. That's Prime Minister uh, Johnson and Prime Minister uh, Torres had to resign today. Boy, yeah, that leaves a big mess. Oh yeah, and don't forget the $70 billion budget mess that's going to have to be eaten up by the British Commons <laughs> because the British uh, aristocracy, otherwise known as Charles III and company, they don't have to pay any taxes. Mm. Where have we heard this here, Americans? Isn't this Taxation without representation? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, this is your favorite alien saying, the British are in a rock and a hard place, and their parliamentary system is just about to blow itself up in the face. Good day. Bye.